Hello, and welcome to the 9-11 SC episode two. Today, we're gonna be focusing more on the uh, bodywork aspect. I'm gonna be working on 9-11 today, so I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm up at the front here, where we have a bit of a rust problem, and I need to go in and wire brush where these paint or these uh, tape markers are. So I need to brush away the paint and get to the metal. Um, Cause we got to grind this whole inner tub off pretty much. And we got a replacement um, tub that we're going to weld up. So yeah, I just got to take off the paint about an inch back from where this tape is. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing for today pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so I got it all cleaned up. For the most part, you can see the spot welds right here. That's what we're trying to get at, so we can drill those out. But yeah, it, it didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it was still kind of a grind, no pun intended. Oof. So we've brought it down off the lift, and uh, just so we can get it jacked up. And we're going to be cutting out probably this whole piece right here because there's that big spot of rust right there. And we uh, have some replacement panels that we're going to put in. I went through and I wire brushed a couple more places and um, my father has given me the go ahead to grind out these spot welds on this side. This is kind of like where the worst of the rust is. So this is like the battery um, support um, thingy. I don't know. I, I bet Porsche has a technical term for it, but I don't know what it would be called. So I, I guess battery stand is another name. So yeah, just these couple of spot welds here. I'm going to use a grinder and uh, hopefully we'll get that off. So what's needing to happen is um, just the stuff that I mentioned, that's the first stuff to go. Um, but I had to remove the AC bracket up at the front. And there was a sort of like almost a radiator type thing up there. Um, so that we could get at where the rust was the worst. And then what we're going to do is... Um, take off some of the front suspension components and get it jacked up so it's independent and there's no load on it so that we can cut it out and of course before we do that we have to take measurements and we got to be very precise about this because if you mess it up like it's a little bit it could be really bad so we're trying to do the best with what we got all right so i grounded out all the spot welds and uh you can see how it looks it's, yeah, it's Tetanus Avenue over there. Uh, I'll try and find the picture of the piece after I cut it out. Um, but I can't find the piece anywhere. I don't know where it went. Anyways, what I'm doing now is I'm going to ground out or grind out all of these uh, for now. And then I'll probably grind out some other, uh, other welds. But... My dad just wants to get this piece off so he can see what it's like underneath of the second piece, just so he doesn't have to replace that. If we don't have to anyways. So, yeah. And this is the instrument that we're using to uh, take measurements before we replace anything. So I switched to the drill bit where we have a special sheet metal drill, uh, drill bit. So you first take this little metal punch here that um, has a spring in it. So you push it down and it makes a bang and it makes a little hole. And then I chased it with this little bit right here to widen it so that it can come in with this special metal drill bit that we have. But it's only cutting through one layer of metal. 
Um, I mean, there's that and there's a, a small accident, but other than that, it's been actually working a lot better than grinding it off because I've been damaging the uh, first layer here, which I do not want to do, so I switch to the other me method. All right, so I am done for the night. I've drilled all the way over there, over to there, and I've started to drill over there. Um, I just need to get it all... Um, not all the way through, no. Uh, sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, just through that one layer. And then I'm gonna pry this up. And I need to wait to do that, because I think we need to do something else. But yeah, just a couple more areas to drill. And then, I don't know, that's like really bad. I'm thinking that's all just gonna come off, because it's rusted through even some of the welds. So yeah, I'm done for the night. And I'll keep updating you. All right, so I did actually end up having to drill out the spot welds for the AC housing um, so now I'm going to use my percussive maintenance to uproot that and then we can get this piece off after that is done and expose the cross slides all right so with a lot of tapping I was able to get it out as y'all can see there now I just have to work at getting this part of the pan off, which shouldn't be too difficult since the holes are mostly drilled already. Yeah. Okay, sheet metal and coverage is going on slowly but surely. I've drilled out to that corner right there. I need to just wire brush it all just to get it all exposed. I mean, the rust has pretty much taken over all over there, but at least for there I need to uh, uncover that so I can get at the spot welds. But we're getting really close to be able to take this thing off. Yeah. All right, lads, I wire brush the area. There's only about three visible spots where I can drill. So other than that, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna have to either dremel or just kind of work it back and forth along the, uh, the rust belt there to get it out, but yeah. Some interesting stuff. Okay, lads, it's the moment of truth. I will uncover it. Just gonna give her a week. been done look at all the cross flats jesus okay so i vacuumed it all out it's real bad so we are gonna have to replace the um the whole suspension pan here so going all the way along this seam to the back and then it kind of goes up into the front of the car um so yeah that's just gonna involve some more grinding and uh and cutting so yeah and then we're gonna weld in the new pieces together okay so uh, nothing has happened since I filmed that um, it's currently like March and that was filmed in uh, probably mid January um, I had a lot of stuff come up and as a result the um, SC was not able to progress beyond the point that I had showed you. So, um, I'm not too sure when we're going to start again, but there definitely is going to be a part two. We just have to start with one, the measurements. That's going to be kind of a long process. And then we have to take off the front suspension components. And then finally I can drill out all the spot welds 
there. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video today. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep going with the project. Like this isn't just gonna be it. Like there's still some stuff that we need to do. So yeah, appreciate you guys. Yeah.